Hi, uh, so I've seen your videos on vegetarian diet and human beings. Even though you've made quite a few good points, you, you were quite wrong in other points. For instance, our bodies are not prepared to feed exclusively on plants. Even so, you wouldn't be able to do that because your body can't process most plants and if you try to do a diet on, I don't know, some plants, you wouldn't be able to digest it. You wouldn't just be able. Um, first of all, a lot of what you say is not true. Our appendixes nowadays are mostly vestigial, that is to say, they don't play any function, or if they do so, it's so insignificant that you can barely acknowledge it. On another record, you the the fact you said our stomach length corresponds to a herbivore, this is not true neither. Our stomach's length is mostly the one you can see on omnivores, that is to include pigs, humans and even some monkeys. Um, monkeys and gorillas well, primates, and uh, this is to say that our bodies are not prepared to be purely vegetarian. Um, my, di my diet is mostly vegetarian, but I still feed on animals every now and then, because Medically, you should eat meat twice a week, I guess, something like that. Um, and my metabolism slowed down a lot when I reduced my meat intake. And I had to start eating some meat again. So, you shouldn't stop eating meat at all. You should reduce it and probably eat fish instead of meat but you still need to feed on animals another wrong point you said is about human dentition our teeth are prepared to an omnivorous diet that is to say a diet based on grains meat and plants as well. It is not nearly... Um, this is the point you got the most wrong. If we had teeth like herbivores, they would be continuously growing and we would probably ruminate. But we don't. And, uh, well, those were the major points I had. Now, on a second but not unrelated topic, um, what do you think? Do you think a rabbit, would, if, if feed on, for, let's say a rabbit were to be a rabbit was to be human or any other animal animals might have addicts but most of them wouldn't feel sorry for feeding on you and it's an utopia to believe that you can live without harming animals 
for instance, dairy, dairy products that most vegetarians still fe feed on, do you think they're cruelty free? No. A lot of cows are hours and hours in farms and they have no space. So, of course, you can pay attention to to it and try to find some brands that are less cruel to animals but it's it's difficult even eggs they put the chickens the all day long without sleeping so they can produce more eggs there's no way you're gonna feed yourself without hurting animals don't you think how do you think we have enough space to cultivate and grow vegetables and fruit we take their habitats we poison their habitats to produce our food so whatever you do you will always having you will always have an impact on animals and also you talk about animals what about plants plants also feel pain so should we stop feeding at all i don't believe so um on another on yet another not unrelated topic uh i noticed you use some leather there's nothing against the use of leather i'm not against it but according to your ideals you should check if it's real leather or artificial leather because if you don't feed on animals not to hurt them then you shouldn't wear products that are made out of animals that is simply contradictory so i believe you should check that and if even plastic has an impact on animals it pollutes destroys their habitat everything we do has an impact on nature and we can try to ignore it and pretend it's nothing with us but we really have an impact on them whether we like it or not sorry that's life and well, that's about what I had to say, and uh, I hope you think about it. It's nothing against you, it's just that your points of view, even though interesting, are in some points a little fallacious. And, well, keep real. <laughs> Bye.